Hello, RUW Universe. Demon, Soul Taker. As you can see, I have escaped the pits of hell. I found my own way out. I didn't need anybody's help. You thought Ashface was going to help me out? Ashface, I've seen that you've tried to help me, right? But personally, after the shit you've said recently, I don't give a damn about you. And Soul Taker, after what you've said, it seems like you want to try to help me too. You told me 2023 is going to be the year that I spread my new vision. You told me to remember my past and embrace the Dark Messiah. Well, I have done just that. But as you can see behind me, I was not the only thing to escape the, uh, the other side of darkness, the pits of hell, whatever you want to call it. The Dark Messiah, Alexander Kelly, will never go away. He will never be stopped. I don't give a shit if your name is the Soul Taker, the Demon. Ash face. I don't give a damn who you are. I'm not I'm not ever going to be stopped. Whether it's five years down the line, ten, twenty, I will still reign supreme. I'm not gonna be trapped in the pits of hell anymore. So soul taker. You want to try to help me? Hmm. Well, it seems like you give a shit about me. It's about damn time. But you said that the only reason... No, let me rephrase that. You said every other side of me that I've ever had, whether it be the revolution... The animal, or that time I allowed Ashface to live inside me for a little bit. You said the reason Demon has killed off all those other sides is because I didn't need him. You were right. Because I've realized, despite not doing, well, really anything as the Dark Messiah. I've had the most success as the Dark Messiah simply because I've seen more as the Dark Messiah. Don't get me wrong, the revolution may have more wins than I do. It may have more wins than the Dark Messiah. The animal may have more wins than the Dark Messiah. Hell, the animal has one. I have none because the Dark Messiah has never wrestled. Well, that might be all about to change right now. Because, to anybody watching this video, I challenge you. I challenge any local competitor to challenge me. No, let me rephrase that. I challenge any local competitor to go up against me in a backyard brawl, no championship on the line, nothing like that. I want to see if you have what it takes to go up against the Dark Messiah. Cannot guarantee you will beat him, but you can try. Any local competitor. The only way to win a backyard brawl? Submission. 
For now, anyway. Maybe one day down the line we'll have pinfalls and shit. But for now, hope you've done your research on submission moves. Because that's the only way to win this backyard brawl that we're having. Any local competitor wants to challenge the Dark Messiah, now's your chance. It's been a little bit since y'all have heard from anybody. To be fair, I expected Dumbass Demon to say a few words. But here we are. No words from the Demon, no words from the Soul Taker, and no words from Ashface. That seems to be a reoccurring theme here in RUW. And because of them not doing shit... That's the reason this championship right here has been crowned to me twice. Who crowned me champion? Me. I know in the past I said those two RUW World Championship reigns never really counted. But come to think about it, they did. Because even though it may have been Alexander Souls and not Alexander Kelly... Those two RUW World Championship reigns helped define me. They made me who I am today. They defined RUW. I am the longest ever RUW World Champion. I don't give a shit if I crowned myself champion. Those two RUW World Championship reigns defined me. And R.U.W. I know some motherfuckers out there want to doubt me and put shame on me and the fucking company because y'all view it as a joke. Y'all see this shit as something to make fun of. Well, if you see it that way, I want you to step up and challenge me. If y'all view this sport, if y'all view this company as something to laugh at and spit on, I want you to challenge me. Alright? Like I said, that is out of the picture. No championship on the line in this backyard, bro. Just me and you. Submission only. We'll see what you got. Any local competitor. Demon, Ashface, Soul Taker. I hope to hear from any of y'all, preferably all of y'all, soon. But for now, ladies and gentlemen, this has been the Dark Messiah of RUW. Your former two-time RUW World Champion. The longest ever RUW World Champion in the company's history. The leader... Scratch that. The influence. It's been a little bit since I talked about you. Technically, I'm still a part of the influence. It's about time. I tell you all the truth. I don't want to be... I don't want to be a part of the influence anymore. I don't want to be their damn leader anymore. I want to be the dark messiah. I want to go on my own path. Hell, I might even make my own faction. Again. Influence. I know this is totally shocking to you. Oh, Alexander, why are you saying this? Why? Why are you turning our backs on us? Bitch, you turned your back on me. I think you did? Let me tell you how. When I created the influence, our main mission was to run WEF. Our main mission was to take over the WEF company. Whether it be taking out the world champion. Hey Trent. Whether it be taking out any of the top stars. What's up JT? And we did that. But after we did that, the main thing I wanted to do 
was to give Toxic and Swamp Man WEF Tag Team Championship gold. I tried making that official. I tried talking to management to get a WEF tag title shot. But here's the fucking thing, boys. Toxic and Swamp Man never let me operate. Instead, they continued going after Train Crusher and JT. Then, when management started to have a damn problem with it, the general manager, Andy Omega, came out to try to take care of y'all shit. I wanted nothing to do with that. But, I tried staying on your side because I figured, okay, since management wants trouble with the influence, they're going to get some damn trouble. But then, what started happening? I wasn't on the damn shows. And when I wasn't there, y'all had to call on Tranquilizer to take care of your damn issues. You never called me back. You never called me back. So I guess what this means now is y'all have left me out in the damn shadows to rot. And y'all have called on Tranquilizer as the new leader. Well, guess what, boys? Unfortunately for y'all, I did not rot. I grew. I became RUW World Champion again. And I became the Dark Messiah. Boys, I want nothing to do with you anymore. So my final message to you... There's one sacrifice. But as I was saying... That's enough words off my chest for now. This has been your former two-time RUW World Champion. The longest ever RUW World Champion in this business. The former leader of the influence. The Dark Messiah, Alexander Kelly. Like I said, any local competitor out there watching... I challenge you to a backyard brawl submissions only match. Until next time, fuck you. Deuces. And one more thing. Don't think I've stopped claiming sacrifices.